Panji mai gan mena selj gango in digicas. Kichi sibi atawa in dujiba. Metsi in da. Wawashkish dodem. My spirit name is Little Wolf. My everyday name is Selj Gango. I'm native of the shores of a river we call Kichisibi that you call the Ottawa River and from a little town that nobody knows that is also called Ottawa. I'm from the Métis Nation and my totem is the deer. The Truth and Reconciliation Committee made uh, a number of recommendations at the end of their work. And the government of Ontario said they would uh, comply with recommendation number 62. And that recommendation 62 said you need to have a First Nation Métis Inuit component uh, from early year education all the way to the university uh, so your curriculum needs to have a native component. <clears throat> of course, the native component is not the same from early years all the way to university. The goal is not to traumatize the children and, and go into great details about the, the traumas of the residential school system, uh, but they need to be aware that the edu the uh, residential schools actually did exist and and they had negative consequence on a civilization it it, it is important that we look at history from a, a neutral perspective and that we we realize that the relationship has been damaged but the relationship was not damaged with one event or, or in one instance. The, the relationship was damaged over a, a series of, of policies and a series of procedures and, and a series of applications of, of different things. So all, all had negative impacts on a society. So it's damaged. And you can look at, at it being damaged and, and you can say, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm deeply sorry for the role I had to play in this. But it won't change anything. So for, for me, reconciliation is, is a series of gestures. And, and either big or small, like what, what can you do? I know governments can do things at, at the different levels, but I, I think all of us are government. All of us are the people. So we need to make little gestures. And what are those little gestures? Well, they're simple little things like, do I know a native person? If I don't, why not? Uh, did, did I sit down with a native person and have a, a deeply meaningful conversation with them? Did I go and, like, you know, really ask questions, get answers, even if I don't like them? Uh, recommendations, see, see things from their perspectives. And if I didn't do that, then why not? Did I read a book from a, a native author about that situation and about what happened there and what can I do. The educational system already have a couple of books that probably your children are going to read in school. One of them is called Fatty Legs and the other one is called uh, the, the Pumpkin, uh, the Queen of Squash. So that information is already that those programs are actually already available. Your kids are going to read them, but adults reading them get something different from those books. Get to know like the, the inside battle about uh, the need for education, the conscious that there is abuse happening there, and ex voluntarily exposing yourself to abuse in order to get the education. So in our communities and in our societies, 
in our civilizations. Education is important, the institution not so much. Some of those uh, some of those negative impact for residential schools are carried from generations to generations. The one that has the most impact on me is um, you learn to be a parent because of your parents. So you learn to be a good mother or a good father because you looked at your mother and your father and you either said, I want to be like that or I'll never do what my mom did or I'll never do what my father did. Those children that went to residential schools didn't have that. So they have no model to base their, this is what a good father I want to be, this is what a good mother I want to be. So uh, that carries on from generation to generation and it is something that we have to work very hard at to break because ultimately humans want to be good people but it's how do you become a good person. Well, how do we break stereotypes? You have to first look at the stereotype, identify where it comes from. Uh, a lot of residential schools' negative impacts cause people to self-medicate, and they either self-medicate with drugs or alcohol. So one of those stereotypes is well, Native people drink and they pass out on the sidewalk, which is true, and it's shameful. The majority white society does that too, though, so it becomes more uh, uh, an issue of poverty than it does an issue of behavior. When the majority white uh, society drinks too much and they pass out, they pass out in a house or they pass out in a nice hotel room. Uh, we don't have the money for that, so we pass out on the streets. Again, it is, it is shameful uh, and, 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 it's, and it's not acceptable and we have to work hard. But there too, you have to look at intergenerational and maybe it is something that's been carried on from generation to generation. So it's going to take a lot uh, of work to, to correct that and change that and, and make that not acceptable.